Malibu Darby here. Welcome to my channel. If this is not your first time watching, welcome back. I feel like I have not said that in over a month. I don't even know if you can hear the echo in here, but I'm literally surrounded by like paint cans and there's just been a lot going on. So I have missed filming and I have not filmed in quite a while. If you follow me on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook or anything like that, you may know what's going on. There's a lot going on. We are going through a lot of new things. Um, if you're not, go ahead and check those out so you can get an update on everything going on. But that is a completely different video. I'm here for one reason and one reason only. That is to do an unboxing first impressions review for the one and only Jackie Ina. Born This Way Too Faced collaboration. Too Faced has extended their shades with the help of Aunt Jackie. And I had to check it out. I've actually had this product for like two weeks. I actually ordered the day it came out, but life has just been all over the place, so I'm just now getting to film it. So hopefully you guys are still interested in knowing all about this foundation and how it works. So if you are interested in learning about the Jackie Ina Too Faced Collaboration Foundation, stay tuned. If you are not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscription button so you can know when I upload everything that's going on here. I have some vlogs and some little videos I have planned to kind of get you guys in the know or to kind of keep you up to date on what's going on with my new house and my new ring and everything that's going on. So go ahead and subscribe, join the family. We are quickly on our way to 2,000 subscribers. So tell a friend, tell your homegirl, tell your auntie, tell your mama, tell people to subscribe. Let's get right into it. And y'all, I was so excited when I heard about this collaboration with Jackie Ina and Too Faced. This, I literally haven't even had a chance to open the box. So here we go, I'm gonna open this now. I literally haven't even opened this box because I wanted to do it with you guys right now. So let's see, this is available at Ulta and Sephora um, and I'll put the price that it retails for and everything on the screen, links and everything like that. I bought mine via Too Faced directly because that is where Jackie had her affiliate links and I wanted her to get all her extra coins and money that she could. So, oh this is cute, this is how I ship my giveaway. So it comes just like this. You got some little pink crunchy confetti. It says, you're so two-faced, love you boo. So cute. Um, it has all their media tags and everything like that. And here's the foundation. It's the same packaging as their previous Born This Way. They just extended the shade range with the help of Jackie. So hopefully like the brown girl shades are a lot more on point. Let's see, I bought this so long ago. I'm like, what did I even buy this for? I think it was 34, oh, I'll put the price, but I'm pretty sure it was 34. So I got one shade. I know a lot of times people get like six shades to watch them, but I bought this with my own money, so we don't have time for that. Usually Jackie is my shade and also my skin type. So usually if Jackie says she can use it, then I'm here for it. And I usually just buy it based off of merit. So I went ahead and I purchased Chai. She has this listed as her personal color. So I went ahead and trusted that this would match me as well. So I went ahead and bought Chai. I've already primed with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I went ahead and primed so I could set into my skin and I also kind of slapped with some eyebrows so we can kind of get a better idea. I'm not going anywhere after this, so I'm not doing any like crazy eye looks or anything like to go with this. We're literally just focusing on the foundation today. So I'm not going to do my usual, I usually set with the Laura Mercier powder and I use something like the MAC color corrector or the um, LA Girl Pro color corrector in orange. I'm not gonna color correct and I'm not gonna set because I wanna see what this foundation does completely on its own without any assistance and how it works. So let's see. What well, says, born this way, is supposed to be oil free, undetectable, medium to full coverage. Now I like a medium, I like a full coverage. Let's not, I like a full coverage, so if this is not full coverage, I'm being a little disappointed, but I have so much faith in Jackie. I'm almost nervous to try this because I wanna love it already, and if I don't love it, I'm gonna be really like, 
because I love the highlighter she made. So I'm like, please don't fail us, don't fail us. We, we, root, we were rooting for you. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. It's infused with coconut water to aid in delicately replenishing skin's moisture levels. It's infused with alpine rose to help brighten and boost skin's radiance. And it's infused with hyaluronic acids for a smoother, more youthful appearance. I'm here for anything with rose in it and I'm here for hyaluronic acid. So, so far they got me. This oil-free foundation masterfully diffuses the line between makeup and skin. Coverage so undetectable and skin so naturally flawless you'll think you're born this way. I didn't try the original, so I'm going in this completely unbiased. This is just, it's, it's, it's promising a lot to me because it's full coverage, but it's undetectably, naturally flawless. That's a lot in one. Hydrating, long-wearing, photo-friendly. 100% said this blurred the imperfections. 100% said this made their skin look perfect. And 97% said it gave them natural coverage. Okay, girl, so let's try this out. I didn't even go to the store to watch this. So here is the packaging, it's pretty cute. A little frosted bottle, a little black top. And you get one ounce, so that's about right. That's about average. I wanna do a little swatch on my face just to see like how it stands up against some foundations that I like to use, which are gonna be like Candace, those are all different colors. Just know that they usually work and I know how to blend them and make them happen. So let's take a little swatch. I'm just gonna do a little dot. I just wanna check it out on my finger. This isn't looking too off. And let's just swatch it right here. Oh, okay, that's red. Okay. I'm gonna leave this to sit here and then I'm gonna try right beside it. I'm gonna try Studio Fix Fluid and NC50. This is almost giving me, I'm not gonna swatch the Fenty cause it's not like the shade I usually use to match. But it's almost giving me the Fenty shade cause it's a little more red than I thought. I thought it would be a little more golden or neutral. Okay. That's NC50. Do you see how that's more like golden brown? That's fine. And then I know this is gonna be a totally different color because I know this is a little dark on me, but you know I gotta do my Kat Von D. Um, I think this is 78. Yes, deep 78. And I'll do this right here. Okay, so in the middle we have the Born This Way Chai. Here we have Studio Fix Fluid Mac NC50. And we have the Kat Von D Deep 78 Foundation, just so you can get a close up of how those colors look. It's still looking more red. We're gonna go with it and see how this works. I brought it a little bit closer so we can actually see the application a little bit more. I'm gonna wipe this off. Yes, I know I'm taking off some primer with that, but listen. Like I said, we're just testing the foundation. We're just seeing the color, all that stuff. Okay, so here we are. I'm gonna use a beauty blender because I always try to use a beauty blender first. If the foundation tells me, like, girl, that ain't it, you're not doing that, then I'll switch to a brush. But I'm hoping this should work with a beauty blender because that's my preferred way to apply foundation. Use your hands, use your brush, whatever you like to do, but a beauty blender is it for me. Not real technique, only the beauty blender does what I need to do. I tried other ones that don't do what I need to do, so we're gonna stick with what we know. So, how do I wanna do this? I'm gonna put this on my finger. I've already gotten it everywhere, so it's probably gonna end up on my jumpsuit. I'm gonna put this right on my finger, and I think I'm just gonna dot it around. Y'all, this color is scaring me. But you know what, I've had colors that don't match, and then they oxidize and they do match, or I've had colors that absolutely match, and then they oxidize, and I look like a little bit. So let's see, I got a beauty blender, it is damp and not completely clean, but focus. Hmm. You know, it's been so long since I put on foundation with the Beauty Blender because the Kat Von D that I usually use really requires that you use a brush. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Well, I should have used the bottom part. I'm using my highlighter part for this. That's fine. Okay. I wanna put enough on to actually get coverage, but I don't wanna put so much on because sometimes that like 
it gets crazy and all foundations are meant to be put. I mean, it says medium to full, so it should be able to be buildable, but I also don't wanna put so much on and like not even give it a chance. So I'm trying to give a little bit at first to see what that's giving us. Okay. Shit. On the camera, it is looking way more red than it. We just gonna blend it. These, I'm trying to blend it into my hairline. I feel like it's looking way more red on camera than it is in person. But maybe I should trust the camera. Oh, Jackie. But before I get the color, so I want to give it time to kind of do a thing. The finish is really nice. I think this is kind of medium. I didn't put on any concealer or color corrector. I can see some hyperpigmentation, but it's given a pretty even natural finish. So that's like coat one. Y'all, I'm trying to see if it's looking red on the camera. It's not looking red in person. And I might do some flash tests or something to see. Let's do some more. Let's see, let's make this full coverage, full coverage. You know what, this is, really similar to the consistency of Studio Fix Fluid. Mm-hmm. Kat Von D is a lot thicker than this. Kat Von D is like paste. I mean, which I'm here for, because I need that coverage. But this is really similar to Studio Fix Fluid. If you like MAC foundation, like their Studio Foundation, you might like this, because this is really similar. Uh, I believe Jackie added 12 new shades. And some of them get really deep, and I like that she did the same shade, but like a different undertone, because you can technically be like my color, but your olive, your red, your golden, your neutral. I tend to run a little neutral, so things can either look ashy on me, because they're too yellow, or they can look too red on me. But I feel like this is doable. I feel like this color isn't crazy. I want to give it a quick second to set. In person, I wanna see if you can see my neck. Tell me what you think. Tell me how it's coming off on camera. Does it look like I'm a floating head? Do I have a crazy line? Does it look too light? Does it look too dark? I'm team, get your shade. So if this does not match, I am perfectly fine with returning it and getting my correct color because I do like the finish. This seems like it'd be a really good like everyday like work foundation, like sometimes Kat Von D can be a lot for work because I'm like super beat, which I mean, it's never a wrong time to be super beat. But this seems like it is a nice, okay, I don't feel any, sometimes you can feel this on your face, I don't feel anything weird on my face. Let's see how it does with concealer. I'm gonna put on my usual um, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer to see how that works with it. Just cause I know this one is pretty friendly for all. Some foundations and concealers, you mix them and stuff start moving and getting weird. It's stressing me out. I just wanna see how this color's gonna look. Okay, see, I feel like it's starting, it looks like it matches. Let's see. So I'm taking the NARS Radiant Cream Concealer in the shade Amand. And just a little bit, again, I'm not like going anywhere, so I'm not getting in full drag today, but I do just wanna see how it shifts. If somebody can write NARS and tell them that we need more product in this bottle, especially for like the $32 that it is, I need, I need more. You're being stingy. They're like just so small. If you could buy a jumbo tube for $50 or something, this is just. I feel like I run through these. Okay, we're just gonna do under eye as I do every part of my face. Okay, that's how it starts. Next, I'm putting on lashes. Talk about I'm not going nowhere. Back with the beauty blender. That almost disappeared, but I think I like it. 
I don't usually like a natural bead, so I'm torn because I feel like I like it. So it is blending well with this concealer. It's not like getting patchy or shifting around because that can happen sometimes. Like I feel like Kat Von D foundation works best with Kat Von D concealer. Okay. Okay, Jackie. I think I might like this. Ooh, that looks good. Okay, I'm wearing this to work tomorrow. Yep, yeah, I'm definitely wearing this to work tomorrow. I'm gonna do a long wear test tomorrow. So here is with concealer. Um, my Sasha is somewhere around here, but I'm gonna set under my eyes with the Laura Mercier. Think I like this. Studio Fix was my everyday foundation for a while. But sometimes I would start getting too oily. But this has a similar finish, but it feels slightly more matte, which I think is what I need. What do y'all think? Let's see, let me let me do the whole, let me get my thing, let me get my stuff together. I'm gonna do a little bit of contour real quick, a little bit of blush. When I say a little bit, I mean like. I probably do that also quick. I'm like looking in the camera, not even looking in the mirror. Again, focus on the foundation, okay? Blush. Let me actually look in the mirror if I end up going somewhere and I'm playing. Cause I don't wanna do so much that I like lose cause sometimes I get so beat that it doesn't matter what foundation I could've used. And of course, we are using LeBron's Jackie Ida's collaboration with Artist Couture. It's not about this product, but a nice honorable mention. I'm just like, Jackie, girl, you season us with all these collaborations. Give us a line, sis. Give us a full product. I need a concealer. I need it all. Oh. Well, I'm not going anywhere. I need it all. I need you to give us everything. Okay, guys, so let me know what we think. Let me know what you think of the finish. Does this match me? Is it my color? I'm in this empty room with these lights and these windows and all this. Let me know before I go out looking crazy. If you're interested in how this wears long wear, I'm gonna wear this tomorrow all day at work. That is 11 and a half hours. And I'm gonna be updating on my Insta Snap periodically throughout the day to see how it wears. So go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Malibu Darby and let me know what you think. Right now for me, I like it. Fendi ended up not doing what I wanted to do as far as color wise, so I kinda, it's not my everyday. Max Studio Fix, I like it, but I, I kinda wanna new something or other. So I think this might be my new. Okay, they didn't transfer. Okay. All right, Jackie. Okay. Jackie always, I feel like, gives me good. I'm not just saying this because it's Jackie. If this was a trash foundation, I would say this is a trash foundation and my girl let us down. But I actually like this. And maybe I should have tried Too Faced earlier. I mean, I love the Better Than Sex Mascara. So maybe I should have tried this out earlier. But I think that covers it. I'm so happy to be back filming. I'm gonna leave this whole setup up so I can just come back and keep filming stuff and keep filming stuff and keep bringing videos. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you missed the first announcement and you still have not subscribed, go ahead and hit subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. That is all, I am done, I am out of here. I'm about to go paint my vanity room or put up a ceiling fan or do something like that. And we're out.